Good evening, sleepers. The studio is safe for relaxation and comfort. I hope you will enjoy. I'm... I'm Stump. Did you find anything online? And what about your dad? Yeah, that's not good enough. That doesn't help us, sorry. No, no, don't don't worry, it's not your fault. It simply makes no sense to kidnap you just to cure the cold and some other random disease. With modern medicine, mermaid blood is almost obsolete as a cure-all. It's not strong enough to go beyond what we currently can do. No, I, I know, but... I mean, they still went to the trouble of kidnapping you for your blood. Not the blood of anyone else or any other race. It must mean something. And why was Stacy's name on that list of donor? She gave so much money to that shady group. What was all that about? Have you contacted her since the incident? No? Oh, you lost contact with her that long ago? Weird. Alright, no, 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 it's fine. It's probably better that way. I simply don't trust her anymore. She's, uh, she's a bit weird right now. I know you two were close, but it could all be a ruse to gain your trust in the work hard. As of now, she should be unaware we have doubts about her. There could be no way she knows I saw the document that could incriminate her. I, I just wish I knew that I knew more about Murray Blood. Their internet is failing me and your dad has no idea either and you're not even a problem, Merman. I don't know if the info we will find is even accurate. We need a blood expert, but I thought your regular doctor could help us. What? If I know a vampire? Why will I know any? They've been hiding from the authorities for centuries, but... It's true that... Uh, one will know more about blood and ancient culture than anyone around. If only. No, uh, actually, there been a rumor of a vampire living in the forest, but no one has ever met him. No, no, n not the forest in my estate, the, the one farther from the coast. It's as if the forest pushed back anyone trying to find him, like they just get lost and end up at their starting point. You know what, sweetie? At that point, maybe it's our best bet. We're not there to abuse his power or attack him. We simply want some information unrelated to Vampire. With a bit of luck, he's actually here and we're about to see him and with even more luck, he will actually know what's up. No, 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 you're coming with me. By my side is the safest place I know. I'll protect you from anything. Even a vampire. We're both used to fight them on equal ground in the past, so don't worry. We've been walking for a little while now, and there's still no trace of any vampire. But also, I don't think we circle back. This for us is definitely not normal. Hey, love, where are you going? Silly you. That's where we come from. He must be deeper in. You're confused? Confused at what? No, no, there, there's a road right there. Come hold my hand. I don't want to get lost in here. Oh, see? There's a car over there and some lights. Oh, a matter too. You see it? That must be it. Wait, you just notice all that now? That's weird, but... You're fine now, right? Are you feeling unwell, my love? All right, if you say so. Okay, let's go. Stay behind me, just in case. Mm, there's no response. Let's see. Mm, yeah, it's not luck. Should we... Should we just go in? Yeah, okay. Still on your guard. Oh. Uh, oh, hey, sir. My god, is it you? Is it truly you? My dear old friend, how much did I miss you? 
Sorry, but do I know you? I don't think we ever met. Oh my bad, I thought you were someone else, but to a visitor here, it must mean you're one of his descendants. That's the only explanation. Uh, I'm sorry, but I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh, I am sorry. I am a François Lamour, a vampire. Come in and get seated, my friend. My, I am elated. Do you have any idea how long I was waiting for your arrival? Uh, so, I used to know your ancestor, and I made it so all of their future generation will be able to make it to my home. Normal individuals simply cannot find this manor since I made it so only select few individuals can come here. Your presence means you share the same bloodline as my old friend. Alright, I'll stop being this excursion. I thought you came here for fun and idle chit chat. So tell me, I'm always willing to help the great, great grandchild of my dear acquaintance. Wow, I had no idea you knew my ancestor. That's a crazy coincidence, but. Uh, yeah, I came with my fiancee to ask some question about her blood. I thought seeking a vampire for help was a good idea. Someone with plenty of experience and knowledge. Sure, go ahead. I will answer you the best I can. So, the thing is, she's a half mermaid, half human, but she's pretty much a hundred percent human, though. Not particularly good or bad at swimming, no scale. Only by meeting her dad could you catch her mermaid blood. And she recently got kidnapped for her blood, but we don't know why. The kidnapper refused to say anything. Hmm. Let me think. Actually, I may know why. Uh, here is my theories. Mermaids were hunted in the past by humans for their cure blood, so... Now, they almost never come to the surface world due to fear and hatred. I can't blame them. I do the same. Anyway, only mermen feel safe around humans since their blood have no healing properties. Even then, mermen rarely come live alone in the surface world and... They even more rarely have children, since they usually end up in a relationship with other mermaids. One thing that I doubt most uh, know in this day and age is mermaid blood efficacy can be increased to eradicate any sort of disease and poison. So, they, they want to cure stuff like cancer? No, no, cancer is special. The body doesn't treat it as something foreign since it's technically the whole body. No, this, the sort of sickness it will be to cure is lycanthropy. It was the only cure at the time and it is the only cure that ever existed. Wait, what will happen if I suddenly drink her blood? Or that medicine? Oh, don't worry. As I said, you need to do something to make the blood more potent, but... If you took the cure, hmm. best case is your cure. Worst case is that you die. Werewolves are tied to this insect plague now. They slowly evolve and it became part of them. So, like cancer, we should not do anything, right? I, I couldn't see for sure, but that is literally the only difference between a cure all and her blood. I don't think this, so I can see the detail or how they will increase its potency, but something vaguely familiar happened a few centuries ago. Your can used to be quite unprotectable, then Hunter began killing werewolves. After some time, they evolved and were less dangerous. Werewolves were able to slowly enter society, but the prejudices and Hunter still existed. They tried to dispose of them by poisoning their water they drank and you guessed it, but it was a mermaid tonic as it was called. Do you think Stasis want to eradicate us? Hmm. There are a few names on that list, but she wasn't top. I had no idea she was risked or against my kind. I don't want to know where she went. I want answers, but I'm not sure if you can trust outsiders. I know they're werewolf and our family show. You should be on our side, but ask Frederick. Oh, yeah, I guess I could. 
also name my pig and ask him to tell me if he ever sees Stacy's. Uh, there. Sorry, Francois. We're just not sure what to do. I want to save as much as possible when I go look for clues. Well, she could stay here. Phone still working. No one invited can come here ever. It is quite safe. I was about to hide here for millennia after all. I... Hmm. It's not that I am grateful, but... You are a vampire. Oh, I understand. I live with that role. Let me call her. Dear, could you come say hi to our guest? See? I thought it would dispel all your fear, but... You will not be leaving her alone with a vampire. There is another human here. Are you sure for your friend with this? Okay then. I'll leave her in your care. Thank you, Francois. I'll be able to focus on getting the head of all this. I'll call you whenever I can. I love you, Sudi. I'll work hard so you can have a normal life again. See you later, guys, and thanks again. Don't worry, I'm always here for Werewolfkin. I feel like they are my long lost child. Wishing you luck, my dear. Alright then. I guess I have to hire a detective and get her clues. Huh, did my sweetheart forget to tell me something? How? Wait, Fenric saw Stacy's two days ago? What? The? Why? Huh? His friend David is going out with her. It, it's also convenient. I, I have to be careful. I have to ask him to give her me her address without her knowing. I don't want to fall into a trap myself. Alright. It seems like you won't have to wait for long, my love. Thank you for listening up to the end. I hope you enjoyed this audio and that you had fun with it. I am giving you some extra time to pause the video or close the page in case YouTube decides to put an ad without my knowledge. Have a good evening.